Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the session. How is your day going? My name is Liang, and in this presentation, Yuan Sang and Ishimaru Sang and I will introduce our recent research on Luoyu. This talk will focus on the several attacks by Luoyu in 2021. Yuan Sang? Hi. Ah, okay. ローユと呼ばれる APT アクターの2021年のキャンペーンについて今回共同リサーチとして発表いたします。ターゲットは後半で日本向けにも観測しています。この攻撃者の他の攻撃者ではあまり見られない、えー、興味深い TTP についてケーススタディを含めて紹介してますので意識して聞いていただければと思います。よろしくお願いします。So let me first introduce ourselves. I'm Li Yang. I am a male researcher in the cyber threat intelligence team at KingP5. My major area of research includes APT campaign tracking and malware analysis. And Ming Wang Sang is a cyber security researcher at Itochu Corporation. He tracks trend, three trends, including malware spam, APT, and cyber crime. Ishimaru Sang is a malware researcher at Kabeski Lab. He conducts research of the latest three trends, including APT at a global level. The TTP of Loyu group has become more complicated. To provide a well-rounded understanding and analysis on the three actor, we have shared information and discuss with each other. In this presentation, we are going to disclose the information to the public together. So we hope that our efforts could help preventing people from such threat. Next, we have divided our presentation into three main parts. First of all, I will give a summary of Loyu campaign in 2021. I will update the profile of the Loyu threat group and talk about why we do research on Loyu activities. Second, we will share the detailed analysis of WinDealer, including the features of the malware and the reality components. And finally, we will share case studies of Loyu's attack including a campaign targeting users of the Chinese bank and a campaign that compromised the Chinese branches of a Japanese company. So before we moving on to the timeline of Loyu campaign in 2021, I will give a quick overview of Loyu first and explain why we do research on Loyu activities. So why is it named Loyu? Originally, Loyu is a methodology creature appear in San Haijin, the classic of sea and mountain, a famous ancient Chinese literature. In this book, the creature was described as a fish with a pair of wings, allowing it to swim and fly. This feature is similar to reverse window, a tool used by the Loyu group. The tool could be deployed in several different platforms, causing trouble in our victim's system. Now that we know its name, I will talk about the updated Louis profile. Here is the updated Louis profile. Last year, my partner Sui and I have mentioned that the group is likely from China. We kept tracking their attacks and found that they continue to develop a new cross platform tool. We dubbed it Xgear. The group also uses tools shared among Chinese APT groups such as Pragas and Shuttlepad. It is interesting that the attacker have continued to expand their target areas of an industry for nearly a year. We have seen the group deploy numerous campaigns, including attacks targeting industries such as financial, ministry of foreign affairs and embassies, military, telecommunication, and logistics. As for their targeting countries, it is worth noting that Loyu attacks not only East Asian countries and China. It also it has also launched attacks against Russia, United States, Czech Republic, Australia, and Germany. Since we can introduce all the incidents, today we will mainly focus on recent attacks in which Loyu deployed wind data to attack Chinese branches of Japanese company in and uh, the key updates. 
So why is Louis go? Last year, we observed that the Louis group tries to collect information of citizens from messenger apps. This year, we found that they now not only focus on attacking citizens, but also various areas and industry. Specifically, we discovered a campaign by Louis targeting Chinese branches of Japanese companies. We therefore suspect that the Louis group has expanded its target scope. Since Louis' attacks are not easy to track, we have conducted research on its campaign together. So now I would like to talk about the timeline of Louis campaign in 2021. We identified their new cross platform backdoor XDR this year. We found the Windows version of the backdoor in April, then the Linux variant of XDR in August. Next, we discovered a campaign targeting the users of a private Chinese bank in August. Later, I will put more details in case study one. From April to September, the Luoyu groups continue to attack the Chinese branches of Japanese company. Niyo-san will introduce this part in case study three and four later. I will update the latest activities in case study two. For now, we are unsure of the target companies and industries, but it is worth noting that they might combine the use of both proprietary and shared backdoors should pay in their operation. Now, I will introduce the detailed analysis of WinDealer. Here is the WinDealer's malware profile. WinDealer is the major modular type of malware that was observed in watering hole attacks against Chinese in 2019. We call it WinDealer because the export function name has string prefix DO. And we found that the WinDealer developers have continued updating the malware function since 2008. And it is worth noting that WinDealer has an interesting feature which gets victim label from non exist domain or non exist URL. There is also a new anti C2 tracking mechanism in the latest version of WinDealer. The malware contains an unique IP address generation algorithm, which we call it IPGA for C2 communication. I will detail explain this feature later. Since 2016, there is a hardcoded version string in WinDealer. The hardcoded string probably comes from the build day. It used first number as main version, and the second number and third number since like the build day. We observe four versions from collected samples. The latest version is the main version 18. And how to distinguish backdoor version before 2016? We found that malware contains hardcoded development timestamp time string, which will be used as the mutex string. So we use the prefix to distinguish the backdoor main version, such as work-2008, we call it windbuilder2008 and manager dash 2013 as wind dealer 2013. Next, we summarize the evolution of wind dealer from the sample we collected. In the beginning, the wind dealer is designed to collect sensitive data from popular messenger application in China. At first, it supports 15 backdoor commands. In 20 2013, we have found that it supported more spying function, 26 command in total, and it has an interesting feature which gets victim label from non exit URL. We will introduce this feature later. Since 2016, there is a hardcoded version in WinDealer. We found that the main version 16 starts skin shadow sucks profile. And in the main version 17, they changed the non exit URL path. Next, in the latest version 18, the non existing URL was changed to non exit domain. Today's detailed analysis is based on the latest version 18 of WinDealer. So we have divided in depth analysis of WinDealer into five main parts. At first, 
I will introduce the steganography technique they use to hide the malicious embedded DLL and explain the decryption workflow. Then I will quick introduce the functionality of embedded DLL and the, the collected host information. Today, we will focus on the C2 communication part because they are two interesting and special features. Finally, we will share the WinDealer related component, which we will not make public before. So let's move on to the steganography technique. We have found that the malware contains an additional module in the resource section, BitMap. They are using steganography technique to evade security product check. This figure shows the resource ID 129 have a picture disguised as Google. In fact, this bulb contains an encrypted DLL. And this is the decryption workflow. The malware will search the metric header to find the encrypted bulb location and use XOR or ES AES algorithm to decrypt the embedding based on the version of WinDealer. So how to find the bulb and decrypt? This mess, the method is simple by violent. It will add hex 3000 byte from the beginning of the image, then advance one byte at a time. Compares the magic, magic pattern to find the desired location. Then use XOR to decrypt the embedded DLL. Next. The latest version of embedded DLL have three ma three x four function. The first one is part initial apps. This function will mapping embedded function on virtual function table for using from main module as initialization. Second is get config info. It will mapping the embedded malware configuration from the DLL. And the third is auto get system info. It is designed to create many way to get infected device information. And this figure is used to describe how the malware store the victim ID in the registry. The wind dealer will generate a unique ID for the infected system by calculating the MP5 hash of the following string. Make address, physical information, and current username. As a unique hidden trick, the victim ID is not stored raw data. The malware converts the four bytes victim ID to an IP address style. And the malware will gather host information, including the following computer name, username, CPU info, OS version, etc. Then sending victim data to the C2 server. But before sending the victim data, the malware will add a custom header to the data. There is also an interesting feature in WinDealer. In all samples, it will connect to a legitimate domain but non exist URL, such as 360.cn. This domain belongs to a security company in China. And it will save the response data and use in custom header. We speculate that the attack may be able to hijack the victim's network connection and apply this feature to identify the victim's identity. It's worth noting that the non exist URL is changed to non exist domain in the latest version of WinDealer. And there is another special mechanism in WinDealer. The malware will use IPGA, which is IP address generation algorithm, to generate a random C2 IP address when Victor does not have C2 config. So this is the workflow that describes how WinDealer gets victim label from an E6 domain. In the latest version of WinDealer, it will connect a hardcoded non E6 domain URL, which is triple type Microsoft com and the URL page is status get sign ASP. The malware will then check the response data. If the first two bytes is 1122 and the fourth and fifth byte is 3344, if 
match this pattern, it will extract the third byte as a head sign, which we call this the victim label. Because we suspect this feature is designed to take special target, the extract byte is saved in a file, which is under the program data. And the extract byte, and so you can, as you can see, if the victim label value is one or two in the custom header, it means that you might be the target. And unfortunately, we have not seen any reply like the five bytes data during our investigation. And then we summarize the C2 entire tracking mechanism key point in this slide. The attacker designed IPGA to generate a random IP C2 address when backdoor does not have C2 configuration. From observe all the latest version of WinBiller samples, the randomly generated IP address will exist within specific IP address range. The first and second attack will be 113.62 to 113.63 or 111.120 to 111.123. This mechanism will prevent researcher from tracking down the real C2 IP address. It will make wind dealer untraceable. And this is the workflow that describes how wind dealer encrypts the communication data. In the initial connection, the wind dealer will generate an AS key, then using ISA algorithm to encrypt the AS key with a Hakuti public key. After C2 server receives the first packet, the WinBiller will use AES algorithm to encrypt the victim data. This way can protect the transmission data. And as a comparison, the old set, the old WinBiller used RC4 with a Hakodi RC4 key for the AES key and checksum for the initial SX. However, the latest sample was modified ISA instead of using RC4. This update affects our investigation. Analysis cannot decrypt the malware communication because the generated AS key is used for C2 communication. And it was encrypted with, with ISA algorithm using the Hakodin ISA public key. And here is the data format of C2 communications. The custom header contains the following data. The Hakodin 8 bytes for metric header and four bytes is for generated written ID, and one byte is written label, and one byte for connection type or backdoor command ID. Then is the encrypted data and checksum. Next, from here to page 35 are the detailed wind dealer analysis screenshot. If you are interested in wind dealer communication paths, you may refer this slide. This slide is the screenshot for sending AS key quip ISA. And this is the example of sending data. As a, the malware sends infected environment info such as hostname, CPU info, OS version, MAC address, and username, and with the malware version. And this figure shows that the malware checks the backdoor command in custom header. And this is the workflow that shows how WinBeater map the backdoor function table from the EXE and the embedded BIL. Here is our detailed analysis of WinBiller. Now I'm going to introduce the first WinBiller related component. We have found that downloader of WinBiller circu circulating in the wild since 2013. It used developer timeline as the mutex string, which is same with Win WinBiller RAID. From 2015 to 2017, there is also a Windows kernel module downloader. We noticed that the PDB string contains some simplified Chinese words, which means 
impact related and overflow. We believe, we believe this driver is designed to download WinBiller. And we also discover the downloader will connect to non exist URL. The non exist URL means that the domain is legitimate, but the URL page is non exist. And it is worth noting that the downloader and WinDealer rate are using same unique string triple B as the user agent. We suspect that the attack might use, use DNS hijacking or network hijacking technique to deploy their backdoor WinDealer. And next, here is another component we found. We discovered that there is multiple dropper or loader related to WinDealer. The malware resource contains an encrypted payload. The malware will use export or to decrypt the payload then lose the payload in memory. We speculate this component might relate to the downloader. However, we have no evidence to prove it yet. We will update more information in near future if we can find more information to support this assumption. So here is our WinBiller related components part. Let's move on to the case study one. We found that Roy deployed reverse window to attack the user of a private Chinese bank in April 2021. They mirror the bank's legitimate web page for phishing. Although we did not obtain the information regarding the distribution method of the attack, it was highly possible that the actor lure their targets to the fake website. When written visit the login page, a messenger will show online bank assistant undetected, which will lure victim to download and install the malware from the above identified malware link. And when the victims install the Trojan Knight installer of the banking app, he will use the Knight to load the reverse window ray. And if you are interested in the reverse window ray, you may refer to our presentation in JSEC 2021. Sui and I had detail introduced Lo Yu using reverse window to attack several Chinese companies in the past few years. And next in case study two, we found that there is a new dropper of wind reverse window in the wild. This dropper will drop files which contains decoy image, batch script, and reverse window rate. Then it will pop up the directory of decoy to deceive the users and make them feel nothing happened. But in fact, the reverse window is running in the victim system, and the batch script will delete the dropper. We have mentioned Similar method which tries to hide the malicious trace in JSEC 2021 too. Next, in our internal research, it shows that Lo Yu is using shadow pay to attack unknown target. It is worth noting that they are using the latest obfuscation method version of shadow pay. If you are interested in this code scattering of obfuscation mechanism, there are some public reports that you may refer to. In addition, my colleagues have mentioned that there is two other groups, namely APT41 and Nikon, have used this version of Chilopay in their presentation of BB2021. Based on this finding, we suspect that Lu Yu also cooperate with other Chinese, Chinese APT groups. So that's all my that's all for my part. Nino san will talk about today's highlight, case study three and four. It's about the campaign that attacks the Chinese branches of Japanese company. So Nino san, please. Okay. Hi, uh, I'm Yusuke Nima from IPC Sat at Itochu. Now from this page, I'm gonna introduce the rest of case study and the conclusions. In this case, the victim was Chinese branch of Japanese companies. We have observed that the Rhythmate application, which is a simplified version of QQ called TIM. Uh, QQ and TIM are major communication application used in China. This was downloading wind data in the form of the disguised QQ app data. 
The renita is also created in the startup folder for persistent purposes. Once renita was created, it didn't execute immediately, but was triggered by users logging at the start of business. We have confirmed that Windata continuously send the stolen data to the backbone router, which have random IP addresses over 6999 UDP port by IP generation algorithms. In this case, it was tough to prevent this kind of infection by malware several times due to the difficulty in identifying the infection vectors. <laughs> Let's move on to case four. This is also a similar case, but the victim was different, and the Maria version and its downloader are different as well. So we have distinguished that case. In this case, the victim was another Chinese branch of Japanese company as well, and we have observed some cases of this infection by WinData, which has the same hash value in the other Chinese companies. We don't know the scope of this campaign though, we assume that it was uh, at least a series of campaign around first quarter 2021. At this time, we made Chinese dictionary application called Yodao Dict tried to download Win data in form of a version .data. The Win data was downloaded under the Yodao folder of the updater local in the victim user directory. And we assume that the uh, did file may be disguised here as well. The execution method of WinData in case three is different in case four. Since WinData DLL was found in the memory of the Yoda Dict executable, we assume that this DLL was side loaded and executed. Regarding persistence, the resume executable was set to auto execute by its service. Also, this is an interesting point. We can see the attacker used both new version and old version at the same period. This sample in case four were an older version than in case three. And actually, certain antivirus software was able to detect it. As far as we can tell from antivirus logs, WinData was continuously being downloaded and repeated three deleted by antivirus software. Eventually, uh, unfortunately, it was infected with the uh, wind data due to switching to specific antivirus. Okay. In the next section, I will focus on the conservation of the initial vector. We have found Chinese blog post from February 2019 that mentioned wind data related infection with the same file name pptb blah, 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 dot, exe. Unfortunately, that blog post didn't include the hash value or any other IOCs, but we presume it was Windilla from common features such as a file name and the destination port and its behavior. In July 2021, we also found another downloader, which fetched a PE from hard-coded URL that we consider to be legitimate. In their export function, use uh, triple B as a user agent, and we did also use it in its subcommand, as Ryan some mentioned previous section. <coughs> Therefore, we speculate that uh, under certain condition, this downloader may be downloading WinDIA. This following figure shows that the assumption of WinDIA's initial infection vector and its communication flow based on our cases so far. <coughs> we condition, uh, the condition is, is that the victim host use a resume application. Resume applications are supposed to download the resume update file, but somehow it downloads with data and makes it persistent through various methods. In our cases, when data queries a non existence domain, for the purpose of labeling victims, as mentioned before, and then send the stolen data to the backbone router using the IP generation algorithm. We suspect that the real raw use C2 server exists behind the backbone router, although it is invisible. And that 
uh, Rear C2 has a capability to retrieve stolen data and execute some commands. Finally, uh, conclusion. We have brought uh, the campaign in Royu in 2021 on the Diamond model. The attacker is Chinese speak speaking attacker who may have recently collaborated with uh, other Chinese APT groups. They are targeting various sectors and various areas, including Japan and Japanese companies. The capability and the infrastructure are very unique and use methods not seen in other APT actors. So there's some kind of seen to compromise target organization and their host and then exploit uh, filtrate data with IPGA. IPGA covers China Net Backbone router, which have a wide range of IPs in order to achieve their goal. The following, the mapping by MITRE attack that was used in this campaign. This is also a reference document. Please refer to them if you have an interest in them. Okay, here's a countermeasure against this campaign. As we mentioned many times, Royu is using a certain method to download wind data via Redsmate application. Hence, it is difficult to prevent it, but it is relatively easy to protect and detect it if you can keep good cyber hygiene. This is conclusion. There's no doubt that the ROU is a threat to companies and users in various areas and sectors, including Japan. And their TTPs, ROU has a capability to attack multiple platforms. Further collaboration between APT group in China may lead to heavy use of common share too, such as a shadow path in the future. Uh, so also, Royu has a variety of attack vectors, including sedient and water hole attacks. So we need to keep a cross eye on their activities and more be careful as their attack methods are sure to be sophisticated in the near future. This is a reference and IOCs. Uh, this is the end of presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free Feel free to ask us on track. Japanese is also fine. Thank you very much for your attention.